Hey, what's up guys? It's Covert Code here, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a server message system. So the first thing you guys need to do is go to view and make sure that you click on the explorer button right there and the output button right there just in case because these are the tabs that we're going to be using for this tutorial okay so the output is just going to tell you if there's anything wrong with your script and the explorer tab is just going to show you well everything in your game pretty much so click on starter gui okay and you also need to have the insert objects tab open so just click on model and click on insert object right there but then you just need to click on the starter GUI right there and find the insert objects tab wherever it is and insert a local script okay inside of starter GUI let me just uh, zoom in a bit here for you guys and that should be just fine let me just delete everything okay so I'm just going to rename the the local script to server messages okay and i'm doing this using the properties window which you can actually view by going to view properties it's not necessary to name your script i just like doing it because it makes it more uh you know, you know easier to read for the future i guess and the first thing we're actually going to be doing in this script is declaring a few variables now if you have no idea what variables are i have a video on variables the link will be in the description below, okay? Uh, I suggest watching that first if you have no idea what variables are. So, uh, the first two variables we're going to define are local message cooldown is equal to two, okay? And this is the amount, so amount in seconds, okay, in between every message. So, let's say we have five messages. It's going to wait this amount in seconds in between every single message. So, local message list okay is going to be uh the list of messages you want to send so let me just copy and paste this and we'll edit this very soon and essentially let's say i want to send hey guys uh remember to like the game okay i would just enter that message right here and obviously you can enter as many messages as you guys want to just copy this part right there copy and paste and keep adding as many messages as you guys want okay and i'm just going to say uh don't forget to subscribe uh please like the video see what i'm doing here guys see uh so please like the video and uh thanks for the you know feedback or something like that okay so we're going to initialize a while loop now again i have a video on while loops if you have no idea what those are Go watch that first okay so while wait do so this is essentially an infinite loop and we're going to use a for loop in pairs and i'll, expl I'll explain this in just a second let me just write this out so for a message in pairs message list do okay so essentially this is just going to loop and by loop it's going to just go through every single one okay so um this message variable right here, okay, is actually referring to this when it's doing the first iteration. And the second time it's referring to this, it's just basically going to go through every single message, okay? I think it's better that I leave it at that uh, if you have no idea what four in pairs are. And remember we said we want to wait this much? I'm just going to say wait message cooldown, okay? So, let me just explain better, okay? So, this loop will never end, okay? So this is an infinite loop. So this is always going to happen. And every single time this happens, you're going to go to this for loop, okay? And this is going to go through the entire list of messages which you've written up right there. So, um, to better illustrate this, I'll just put this at i, okay? So, at i is equal to one, it's here okay this is essentially revolving around tables so if you don't know what tables are i also have a video on those but essentially this is index number one uh like that uh index number two index number three index number four okay and essentially this will go through every single one of these and i will be one I will be two, I will be three, and I, I will be four, okay? And every single time that I changes, the message changes as well. So when I is equal to one, the message will be equal to this, okay? When I is equal to two, 
the message will be equal to this and so on until the um you know the script ends pretty much so let me just delete these uh okay that cool. uh now we're just going to define a function. Now, I also have a video on functions if you don't know what those are, but I'm just going to write a very simple function. So, send message, uh, message, okay? So, we're just going to pretty much run this function uh, here. So, let's say message and color, okay? So, I also want to say that that's pretty much. So, let me just explain. We are just calling the function called send message, okay? And we're basically telling it what message we want to essentially put in the chat and what color the color should be. And in this case, I'm just going to have a default color variable here. So local color is going to be uh, color three from RDB. Let's make them yellow, okay? So something like this. You can pretty much change this color to whatever you guys want. Um, I'll just leave that at yellow so I'll just change this to color okay so if you want to print out a message in the chat just you know they send message what message you want to send and the color of your message okay and this is pretty simple right here uh, so let me just write this down and then I'll explain okay so game.starter GUI uh, set core chat make system message okay open up a table right there uh, text is going to be message, okay, uh, the color is going to be color, and font is going to be any font you guys want really, but I'll just go with uh, this, or sans bold, okay, and that's pretty much the entire script. So let me just explain better what this does, okay, so every single time you go through a message, so let's say we're on message number one, okay, so the message here will be Hey guys, remember to like the game, okay? And I will be one, okay? We're just going to essentially tell the script that we want to run this function. And we're just telling it what message we want to display and the color of that message, okay? And these are essentially the same as these, okay? So these are being passed onto the function as a parameter right here, okay? And these are pretty much the same. So message here is the same as here, and color here is essentially the same as color there, okay? So we're just passing the color that we want. Now, this is a default Roblox function, okay? I didn't make this up, but there's something called set core inside of starter GUI, okay? And these are the parameters that it takes. Now, I'll leave a link to this specific function in the description, just in case you're curious about this. But this is essentially, like, you can't really stray too far from the structure I did here because, you know, that's just how the function works. And in here, we're just telling it what text we want, okay? And the text is the message that's going to be displayed. The color is going to be the color of the text, which we passed right here, okay? And this is the font of your message. And that's just going to be any font you guys want. You could write it like this if you really wanted to, um, like that, okay? But I just prefer writing it like this. Let's just play the game and test this out, okay? So it's just going to go through all the messages every two seconds and print them out in the chat. So as you guys can see, uh, every two seconds it's saying whatever we wanted to write and it's yellow, pretty much, okay? And if you guys wanted to increase the amount of time that it takes between every message, just increase this. Uh, remember, this is a value in seconds, so if I want this to say something in the chat every, uh, you know, 15 seconds, I'd put that at 15, okay? And if I want to make this fancy, I could always say, uh, you know, put something like that, server, you know, you don't need anything fancy, it's just text, okay? So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I would really appreciate if you liked the video and subscribe, and if you have any suggestions at all about what videos I should make in the future, just leave a comment in the comment section down below suggesting that video idea, and I'll see you guys next time.